Hello everyone, this is your host, Dark Paladin. Anyways, um, uh, before I even say anything, I'm not sure if you guys, you see where the mouse is being waved at, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I'm recording, I'm not, well, I'm not recording, but right now, uh, being waited to be recorded is the, uh, Xbox. I just, you know, my dashboard is sitting where I'm flinging around the mouse, uh, in this screen. For some strange reason, Hypercam doesn't pick up whatever is in this screen. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, if it is this time, then hooray, you'll, you'll, you're seeing my dashboard and you should be seeing that my thing is prompting me to play Modern Warfare 3 because that's the disc that's in my Xbox. Anyways, um, I'd like to, uh, just, I made a video about a week ago, uh, explaining stuff about the Roxio that was irritating me. What was really irritating to me the most about the Roxio is that it, it would have this screen glitch and it would keep doing it and I didn't know how to make it go away. I watched a bunch of videos on it and all they said I needed to do was make sure that my profile is HD 720p like my TV. Your profile needs to be the same quality as your TV. You cannot have a 720p uh, TV and record in 1080p. It just it doesn't do that. It doesn't work that way. Um, your video bitrate, this is what screwed me over, okay? The reason most of you, if you're having a problem with the Roxio, okay, your video bitrate most likely needs to be adjusted. It cannot, you can't have it at 15k, which is, well, 15,000, you know, if people that, I don't, I'm pretty sure most people know what k means when I say a number before k, but anyways, you can't have it at 15,000 kfp, Kilo, whatever the fuck they're called. You can't have it at bit, the bit rate of 15,000. This means that your computer just can't simply handle that. I've got a hyper-threaded quad core, meaning it's a dual core acting like a quad core, meaning that most likely to run a 15,000 bit rate, you're going to need at least a quad core or a higher, a good one at that, by the way. Um, so I safely put my bit rate around... I tried and for a couple of videos, uh, 10,500, just the, the 500 is just to give it a little bit more quality. Uh, right now, I'm trying 11,500. I think my last video that I made, the, the wrestling ones, WWE 13, uh, I put those at uh, 11,500. And the quality was great, other than the microphone. We'll get into that at the end of this video. But um, so this is the key thing right here. If you're having any screen errors and your profile is the same as your TV, you might want to adjust your bitrate. Maybe your computer can't handle it. So uh, I hope that fixed a lot of problems for some people because that's what was screwing me over was the video bitrate. Um, I probably can put this at 12,000 or 12,500, but... Just to be sure, I mean, it depends, it really depends on the game you're playing, too. If you're playing Halo 4 or Assassin's Creed 3, you want to probably leave it at around 10,000 through, you know, 11,500 like I've got right now. Um, if you're playing something a little bit dimmer, like the Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD collection, you might be able to stack it to 12,000 or 12,500. Uh, but this is my recommended area. If you've got a dual core, or a hyper threaded dual core, you want to be in between 10,000 through 11,500. That's just my best, you know, because it does just because you lowered the number a bit. I mean, the quality is generally the same. Okay, it's not a big of a difference. I noticed when I moved down from the 15,000, it, it wasn't that it wasn't that big of a difference, to be honest, guys. Now, something I will point out that still aggravates me is if you turn off your computer and turn it back on. Let's just, I don't know, even know why I clicked on it, uh, clicked out of it. Uh, your profile, not your bitrate, your bitrate will always stay the same, but your profile sometimes go back, goes back down, at least for me. Sometimes it will go back down to 480p, and I don't know why it does. Um, even if you, there, there really should be an overall save button for this. I've looked around, you know, and I can't seem to find one. I don't know why I'm only, uh, yeah, see, when you go to options, or I mean tools, it just goes, it just says, uh, there's no overall save button for the program, which I really would enjoy if it just had that. 
Um, another thing is you want to make sure if you're using HDMI, you know, put your input as HDMI. If you're using component, then you want to put it as component. Uh, by the way, the only way to officially do live commentary with the Roxio is by having component. You cannot do it with HDMI. If there is a way, please link me to a video or just, just explain in a comment. Uh, if you're still having screen issues every now and then, depending, it usually only happens when the screen goes black. I don't see why you would after lowering the bitrate, but if you still are, just hit this plus button right here. That is the refresh button. It's not well. It's not really a refresh button, but it'll raise the quality, uh, the bitrate to like one eleven thousand five hundred and one. Uh, it but overall it just refreshes it though. You can easily just you know decrease it back to you know eleven thousand five hundred later. Um. These are again are my settings on my Roxio. These are my personal settings that I like to use for pretty much every video. If the game is too bright or something, though, I will lower the brightness down or do whatever and slightly edit the uh, settings. Something also that I'd like to point out again is if you turn off your computer and turn it back on, these settings will reset back to 128. Uh, the default settings are 128. If you turn off your computer and turn it back on, at least for me, it's doing this it will reset back to 128. You want to make sure that you hit this little sun thingy right here because that's the settings. It says enhance picture right now. You want to make sure that you mess around with that and make sure, you know, it's all good and gravy right there. Um, something else, I pointed this out in my last video. Make sure your volume when you're recording your game is maxed out. Again, when you turn off your computer, actually when you exit out the program anytime, not even when you turn off the computer and turn it back on, the audio will jump back down to here. As you can see, there's two little waves next to the speaker. Uh, when you have it maxed out, my voice cracked right there, what the fuck? Anyways, when you have it maxed out, there will be three waves. Make sure you do this every single time you come into the program, not just when you turn off your computer and turn it back on. Uh, the only time when the turning off computer and turning it back on problems happen is with the settings and the options. Uh, as you can see down here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I, uh, I recorded some uh, Mario... You probably can't tell out what game it is, obviously, but I was recording some Mario Party with my friends, uh, and... To be completely honest, this is what I wanted to talk about now that I'm done talking about the Roxio and how to fix it and everything. Uh, the Roxio, by the way, is a great product. It just, the programs that the Roxio comes with, they need a little bit of tweaking, to be honest. But anyways, um, the I was recording Mario Party with my friends, and uh, if you noticed in the WWE 13 video that I made uh, with my one friend... Uh, I have a stand-up mic, okay? It was ten bucks. Most stand-up mics are roughly that price. Uh, it's a Logitech, and I already am not enjoying Logitech, uh, because I'm, I, I don't know, they're a brand name, and you'd expect them to be nice, but certain products that they have aren't that great, but, um, it's a Logitech stand-up mic. It was less than, uh, you know, twenty bucks. It was ten dollars, like I said. Um... It's fine right now. If you're listening to me right now and I sound perfectly fine, yes, it sounds fine when you have one person and you're next to it. Make sure, by the way, that you're near the mic and not talking over the mic, by the way. You'll blow air into it and make and distort the sounds. Uh, but when I'm yelling and stuff just to be funny or I'm doing stuff with my friends and we're all being loud and everything, this mic is horrible. Which, by the way, my buddy is Zach. I called him Zacky and Zach Ryage. It's just Zach, by the way. But, um, when he was with me, he was a little further away from the mic. I was a bit closer. He was just literally maybe not even feet away, inches away, and it didn't pick him up. I know he's got a deep voice. If you didn't notice, there's a Skype message on the bottom of the screen. Go away, you little orange line. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. But anyways, <laughs> it went away after I said that. That's kind of funny. Um... This, I'm just going to get a new mic, guys. That's that's pretty much what I'm trying to say right here. Is I did not enjoy the mic quality of my rest of my WWE 13 videos. I love the video quality. The Roxio is an a, a, I wouldn't say it's an amazing an amazing device. You're obviously going to get better with a Hawpaw or not a Hawpaw. I mean a, um an Elgato. 
I, I the reason I didn't say Hop Hog is because the original Hop Hog was great, but I'm hearing mixed reviews about the HD PVR too, so I'm not gonna recommend that. But the Aver Media Portable and uh, you know the Roxio HD Pro, as long as you're fixing the settings like I'm telling you to, uh, and you know the Elgato, I've all heard pretty much overall good things about them. But that's just what I wanted to point out, guys, is uh, how to fix the settings on your Roxio. And also, uh, I'm just going to be getting a new mic soon. I was highly disappointed with the rest of the WWE 13 videos. I'm not going to delete them. If you want, if you can put up with bad mic quality, go ahead and continue to, you know, watch them. But uh, I'm going to uh, any any video uh, where there's multiple people, which I've only made, you know, three of them so far. When there's just, you know, those three WWE 13 videos, they're just it, that pissed me off. I, I did not enjoy that. I enjoyed making the video. I, did, I just, I, after the results and seeing that the mic was crap, I'm, you guys deserve better, to be honest. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I clearly have not even 300 yet, but uh, those of you who are watching or those of you who, uh, you know, are just watching the stop by, uh, if you do, please like uh, this video and uh, subscribe if you can. I really, the more subscribers, man, the more I am willing to make videos. I really want to keep making videos right now, but you know, if I keep getting more subscribers, I'm going to want to do it a lot more and be more interested in it. Anyways, I hope this video helped you uh, in fixing your Roxio settings, and uh, that was my information about my mic in those past three videos that I made. Anyways, uh, again, thanks for watching. If you're new, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, be sure to like and comment. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. This was Dark Paladin, and uh, there will be more videos on the way. See you guys later. Stay sexy.